Hey folks, Will Brink here, www.brinkzone.com, and today I want to talk about whey. And uh, whey is sort of one of my specialty topics. Uh, I was the guy who wrote some of the earliest um, articles on whey back in the day in the magazines, pre-internet. And if you look on this uh, YouTube site, you will see I have a series of whey uh, videos that covers pretty typical questions, difference between isolates and concentrates and doses and that type of thing. So. I'm not going to cover that here, but what I am going to do is follow up on a couple of uh, different thoughts that I have on whey and some of the current marketing claims and products that are out there that maybe will help. Uh, I do get emails uh, quite a bit lately on uh, differences between supposed uh, grass-fed uh, concentrates that is being pushed by some companies. And one of the major problems that I have is that these people entities, what have you, uh, pushing grass-fed concentrates are also making claims uh, that isolates are toxic and cause all sorts of problems. Well, I'm going to tell you uh, it's nonsense. There's not a bit of data, no studies whatsoever uh, that shows that isolates are somehow toxic to the body. There's a uh, particular doctor out there who uh, happens to, of course, sell the grass-fed uh, whey and is making claims um, that other people have sort of picked up on that somehow isolates are toxic and concentrates are the miracle food and so on and so on. Well, I'm going to tell you it's complete BS. Uh, there is absolutely no science to that whatsoever and I have been in the business of whey and done consulting for large whey companies and uh, been part of studies and such. So um, I'm going to clear, hopefully clear that up right now. There is zero science to that and zero fact to that, zero medical basis for that. Why are they saying that? Because they have a product to sell. Uh, the whey market is, is very saturated. There's a lot of whey products. It's difficult to sell whey uh, among a saturated market. And so what they have to do is come up with something that seems uh, unique and different and then obviously then bash uh, other alternatives and that gets you to buy their product. So I can tell you the part about the isolate is nonsense. Uh, two, the, the other part they push about grass-fed versus um, you know not organic versions of whey these claims really apply well to meat. If you're looking at grass-fed meat, grass-fed meat or organic meat tends to have a better fat profile, more CLA. Uh, there is an argument to be made for sure on the health benefits of grass-fed organic meats versus non. These claims do not apply to whey, however. And again, there is no data to support what they're saying about uh, organic sources such as hormone levels. If you want to see or read up on hormones in your way. There's an article on my site on the Brink Zone called uh, Are There Hormones in Your Way? And it covers that very clearly. Uh, you have to understand, for example, some of the hormones we're even talking about are fat soluble. And here's a sort of funny twist. If you're pushing concentrates uh, which have a higher fat content and versus isolates, well, guess where the hormones are? It's in the concentrates because there's fat in the concentrates. And if there are any hormones, and no, I wouldn't worry about it, but if there are hormones to be had, they're actually going to be in much higher doses in those concentrates that these people are pushing so hard uh, to tell you that they should uh, be using not using isolates because they're toxic and so forth. Um, basically, it's just, again, a marketing ploy. Okay, so where does that leave us with isolates versus concentrates, grass-fed, organic, uh, and so forth that uh, is causing confusion, is giving people conflicting information? Basically, uh, there's plenty of studies that use isolate that show it is of benefit, uh, for all that we know that whey can do, such as improving immune system, uh, glutathione levels being a highly bioavailable protein, uh, high BCAAs, and so on and so forth. Uh, that info, which you can get from my series here on this white uh, YouTube page uh, on whey, you can also get it from the articles and such on my site, so I won't go into great depth there. So don't worry about that, it's nonsense. There are definitely pros and cons to concentrates and isolates. And again, uh, I cover those in articles on my site. I'm happy to uh, direct you to them and or watch the videos. There, it's not that there is a good, bad concentrate isolate. Again, there are pros and cons to either one. And if you want to use organic uh, or supposed organic grass-fed whey, that's go right ahead. That's fine. But you are paying a premium price for it uh, for no particular reason. But again, I have no problems with people using it. What kind of uh, irks me a bit is the uh, bashing of other products or trying to situate these products to be something special or something different uh, above other concentrates or isolates when in fact they're really not. So that, that's really the part that I am focusing on here. Uh, enjoy your grass-fed whey if that's what you want. Personally, I like uh, whey isolate. I tend to recommend and use CFM isolates, which are very high-grade isolate, which are uh, undenatured 
uh, retain the essential subfractions of way and so forth, which again, uh, take a look at my videos, do a search on CFM way, what have you on my site, and that will get you all the details you want, but don't fall for the marketing nonsense. Uh, know your whey concentrates are not full of antibiotics or hormones and what have you. Uh, again, the, the discussion really is what they're doing is they're taking uh, what does apply to meat uh, and pushing it onto whey, and honestly, that doesn't exist. And uh, again, I'm always happy to read data. I'm always happy to read studies. I'm always happy to talk to researchers, which I do all the time. If somebody has something that counters what I'm saying, by all means, send it to me. But this, uh, believe me, whey has uh, been uh, on my radar for uh, 20 plus years, and it's one of the things I do for a living. So, um, as they say, you can trust me. And I hope this info helps. If it does, please hit the like and the Twitters and all that, and I'll see you all on the Brink Zone. Now, for more information on this topic, head on over to www.brinkzone.com, where you'll find my blog, more videos for reports on fat loss, muscle building supplementation, fitness health and longevity, as well as a ton of articles in my free weekly fitness newsletter. And I'll see you all on the Brink Zone.